big parts of the holidays are socializing and attending so many parties. So today I'm embracing these aspects by sharing a wintry penthouse that's a perfect spot to throw big winter fest and new year's parties. In total, this penthouse is three stories with six bedrooms and six bathrooms. There's a gym, spa, full bar, sculpture garden, butler wing, and so much more. So let's get into it. The style of this build is modern with plenty of big windows to take advantage of all the great city views. Throughout the interior and exterior, I went with very clean, cool color scheme. There's lots of blues, whites, and silvery colors paired with dark wood tones. I made a family for this residential build, who I'll introduce to you as we go, but turning this penthouse into a rental lot would be a great idea too. I'm sure the cost of renting this home would be exorbitant, but having your rich gems come to the city to throw an extravagant winter fest or New Year's Eve party here would be a super fun holiday trip. I love creating outdoor spaces, so even though we're on the rooftop of a big building in San Maishuno, I wanted to carve out some nice outdoor areas. On the side, we have a great outdoor kitchen right next to a big dining space. In the corner is a covered hot tub. This would be an amazing spot for fancy garden parties in the spring and big cookouts in the summer. On this side, there's a sunken sculpture garden and fire pit. Sitting out here in the garden when it's warm or around the fire when it's cold would be so relaxing that the bustle of the city would just fade away. This is definitely where I'd want to spend most of my time if I visited this lot. This is the foyer where we have the private elevator and double staircases to the upper levels of the home. When you come up the elevator, going to the left takes you towards the first floor living spaces and to the right is the butler's wing. Instead of just making a small bedroom for the live-in butler, I wanted to make them a whole apartment wing. So they have a little living room here that has access to an outdoor patio space. Next, there's a full eat-in kitchen. The dining space has some gorgeous views here. Then at the back of the wing is a nice bedroom with double closets for them. Attached to the butler's wing is the bar. Since the butler is probably the one who'd be the mixologist, having a door connecting the bar to their room is probably quite convenient so they can easily get into bed after bartending late into the night. Off the butler's kitchen is the laundry room and their private bathroom. That small half bath at the back there is for the bar. Moving to the other side of the house, we have a huge kitchen where there's like double of everything. Double fridges, double stove tops, double ovens. This kitchen is mostly used by the butler and catering staff for all the fancy parties that get thrown here. So having lots of cooking space and storage makes sense. The door in that back wall leads into a small pantry wine storage area. And then the little space at the front is a sort of butler's pantry where they can store the appliances and items they may need to access quickly while entertaining, like the coffee and tea stations, extra drinkware, and napkins. Here we have the formal dining room. Again, there are nice big windows in here to take in the views of the city. This chandelier from Spa Day looks like modern icicle lights to me, so it made the perfect statement light for this home, and I used it in a few spots in this build. At the back is the living room. From the door on the far wall, you can get to the bar, and from the door on the opposite wall, you can go to the outdoor dining area. It can be annoying having your sims live in big houses, so I tried to make everything flow really well together and design a home that's big without being so gigantic it's a pain in the ass to play in. 
Moving upstairs, the first area we'll take a look at are the kids' rooms. This one is for Sylvia, or V as they prefer to be called, who's the youngest child of the Sim family I made for this home. V is an animal enthusiast who likes spending time outdoors looking for bugs and other creatures. I imagine they want to be a wildlife photographer or field researcher when they grow up. Next is Cole's room. Cole is an outgoing cat lover who's very much into the kawaii aesthetic. He loves playing cozy video games and really shines at all his parents' fancy parties where he gets to spread his social butterfly wings. The final kids' room is Mariah's. Mariah is a bit of a rebellious teen. She hates the holiday parties and prefers to steer clear of it all by spending as much time as possible out doing her favorite extreme winter sports. Connecting all their bedrooms is a rec room. This is where they have their TV and gaming console, ping pong table, and other toys. There's also a shared bathroom off their rec room for all the kids. The front area of the kids' wing is the study room, where they can do some quieter activities like crafting, journaling, and working on their homework. This room could also be shrunk to add in another bathroom for the kids, but in The Sims, I like it as it is. On the opposite side of the second story is the parents' wing. This first section is their work from home space. They each have a private office and connecting the two is a shared break room. Daniela is a high power attorney who's part of all the most exclusive social clubs in the city. Kurt is an ambitious businessman who's all about living a high-end lifestyle. They both absolutely love throwing extravagant parties with their Winterfest and New Year's parties being their pride and joys. Moving from the offices, we go to their primary suite. They're both quite into presenting proper appearances, so I made them a custom vanity on this wall, as well as a nice walk-in closet to the left. I love the dark woods paired with the cool blues in this bedroom. It looks so clean and classy and relaxing, like some very luxurious hotel in the financial district of a big city. Not that I've ever stayed in a hotel room this nice, but it is what I'd imagine one to look like. Moving upstairs, we're at the third floor stair landing. I imagine the butler sets out some coffee up here in the morning so the family can relax and open their gifts while the butler cooks a grand breakfast for everyone. To the right, we have a home gym because of course a house this size would have one of these. Adding on to the luxuriousness of this penthouse, we have an at-home spa. In here, there's a massage table and chair as well as a sauna. You may be thinking I said that funny, but saunas are Finnish and I have a Finnish grandma and that's how she said it, so that's what I'm going with. Also, in the spa is a meditation room. In case having a sauna and massage and financial excess wasn't relaxing enough for your sims, they can come in here to relax even more. The last room for this massive home is a guest bedroom. This is probably the best guest bedroom to stay in for the holidays. You get a private bathroom, easy access to a gym and spa, and then you can roll out of bed on Winterfest morning and get right to the presentry. All right, we have finally gotten through this whole build. This penthouse and video took so long to make, so I hope you like it and that you download this lot to give your Sims a lavish holiday. Now let's get into the festive spirit of this lot by watching the family I created for it celebrate in live mode.
Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, click the like button. I have plenty more builds coming, so if you want to see more, be sure to subscribe and ring the notification bell so you don't miss anything. Remember, be kind to yourself today, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.